Hello everybody, good morning, welcome to Sports Talk Network, and uh, look what I got, my griddle, and a hash brown, and puppy dog, down there, but, no, sorry puppy, but I just wanted to show my guys to another food I'm trying to eat, and this time, being the sausage, egg, and cheese, my griddle, my favorite one, from McDonald's, and uh, hash brown, as I already said, but, yeah, you know, I know I haven't really documented me having really all the other foods I've had so far. Um, I've been trying you know, most things off camera, but I haven't been posting in many uh, groups that I'm now part of, beyond just the one that I was, um, on Facebook, the support groups. So, you know, that's always awesome having that. And I'm sure I might be wanting to be part of those forever, to be able to help others in their forever journey, as they start for them, or, or whatever point it is for them. Sorry, just uh, replying to people here again uh, for my post, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, and I also wanted to uh, correct myself in regards to um, my story. It was 2017, not 2018, when I had my uh, opera done, um, when I was awake and that stuff, part of my story. I thought I thought it was 2018, then I'm talking to the dentist about my, you know, because I wanted to know the like, exact dates and this and that. And it was 2017, February 18th, 2017. And then I got my permanent uppers um, July, 20, July 20th or July 22nd, I think it was, of that same year, 2017. And now here on September 14th or upcoming, um, we'll uh, be getting my hard relines for the uppers. And then that, so that Monday and Tuesday, I have that and... Uh, See if my insurance is gets the okay to do my lower or get lower to get more dentures to pay for. Um, and if so, then they'll do the molding and, we'll do, and I'll get my lower dentures and have a full mouth dentures. And we'll start to actually wear them both, let alone the new ones, but the upper ones. Because in the past, I guess now three years, I haven't really worn them, if at all, barely. Maybe once in a blue moon when with family uh, gatherings and even then. Sometimes even took them out and put them in uh, what was my gr my late grandmother's uh, denture bath thing or whatever people call it. But I want to try to find another one of those. But anyways, it's eating time. As this what this video is, look at the goodness of it. But you know, I was thinking when I was going to do this, like, will I be able to? It's too early. Is it too early to try a on my griddle, let alone any kind of actual sandwich sandwich? You know, I've had the meatloafs, I've had, you know, the regular soft foods, you know, the applesauce soup and mashed potatoes and gravy, which I do love anyway, so I don't mind if my diet consists of that as my uh, main course for all my meals. But, um, you know, and having some more fruit and having bananas and peas, I haven't really attacked carrots yet. Cooked carrots, I think I can, because they can become very soft. Um... But the point is, is to strengthen my lower gums, you know, so it might hurt or it might feel bad. But as I can already feel in areas, they're strengthening with each time I'm chewing. Because sometimes I am chewing maybe a little too hard or too fast because I'm nervous um, on the food that I'm having. You know, and, and all that. But that's just my my own personal anxiety and stuff. But maybe we'll start with the softer one. The, uh. I know usually people don't like to watch people eating, gross or whatever, which I get, but like I said, I'm doing this for, you know, for these videos for myself to look back on and for others that will be going through the process. And I think the worst part of the process in regards to the forever story is the first 24 hours after the surgery or after the appointment, whether you're getting all done at once, like I'm sure most do. But for me, it was at two different parts and it's not that I had to go through it twice of that part of it. And again, it's less of pain, at least for me, I was lucky, less of actual pain pain. It's more of 
discomfort, annoyance, and a pain in the, with the gauze change out. Especially with the uppers because that had no sutures, so that was full, you know, blue, full, you know, um, river of blood in a sense coming out. But at least with the lowers, with the sutures, there was still a good amount of it, but it was only like three to four changes. With the uppers, I made it a lot more, and then I made the stupid mistake of, because I was worried about it, driving to the dentist's office twice on a highway to try to ask for more gauze. That they had to literally sit me down the second time, you know, so, you know, stuff like that. But anyways, let's get to the, you know, the meat and potatoes, right? Potatoes and meat. Sorry, I was doing it away because I don't know if people don't like to see that. Want to see it? I don't know. It's not like a super close up where it'd be like super gross. Super gross. But hey, this wasn't too hard. You know, nice bite. Having the hash brown. Next, the battle is going to be the McGriddle itself. But. You know, next week I'll be doing videos each and every day for most of the week, Monday through Thursday, with Friday off, but different uh, topic, still in regards to dentures, but uh, the bulk up in regards to my series. Whoever is watching live, you're welcome to say hi, because I can show comments on the screen. But, but thanks for those that I did see were uh, popping in and out. Welcome to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Let people know about the channel. And I have been talking to a couple fellow YouTubers in the Denture. The Denture chat, or Denture talk community here. Um, about that. So, about uh, doing uh, collaborations and stuff like that. So, that... Indeed, I'll be off. Look forward to working with each and every one of them, whether in one video of a collaboration or individually separate. All right, here's the big test. Actually, you know what? I usually take the big part off, anyways. Sorry, you weren't able to actually see what I'm talking about, but you know if you've had my griddles before. Like I said, my favorite is the sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm a little bit nervous, I don't know why. And trust me, I'm not being dramatic of it. I really actually am nervous. Alright. We're gonna get a lot of it. Alright, let's try an actual bite. Hmm. Not too bad then. Got yeah, most of that. I think it might be a little bit so until I have it again. In regards to not because it's bad, but because that was a little bit tough to do. But at least I got a little small bite. But anyways, I'll finish eating here. But I at least wanted to show that start of it. Was able to get most of it, a little bit of everything. The sausage, the egg, the cheese, and the outside McGriddle part of it. But you know, it's process, like I said, and probably will wait until I get my both entries to try again with with the cheese of this, let alone with the gums. But the point is what I want to do is try to strengthen those bottom gums. As I've learned from another YouTube, and I look forward to collab with others. Is that strengthen the bottom gums or the gums? Period. 
to be able to get to a point where you can eat anything or pretty much anything, if not most things that you personally enjoy, with just your gums. You know, and then be able to, to do that for your life so that if something happens to your dentures and you're unable to go into the into a dentist's office or otherwise, or, or whatnot the situation is, or it's a weekend and you have to wait till Monday to call or don't have get an appointment in to get them fixed or get new ones or whatever. The point is, no matter what, that you were able to still live your life in a sense of eating part of it, of living your life. You can still have what you want. You don't have to go back to the beginning of your forever journey in regards to eating, having to eat uh, only soft foods for those days because then you have to be waiting for your, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I know in my head I, I explained that better than I actually did, but you know what I mean, you know, and be able to, and that's what I want to do for myself. But anyways, thank you for all that did watch live. I understand that people are shy and don't want to, comment hopefully maybe you send me a dm on social media let me know you were watching but if you are watching this uh archive if you're watching this as it's posted uh welcome to leave the comment section in the comment section below here in the -do. i do have some information in the -do down there um always but uh, welcome to uh, just leave a comment or share your thoughts if you have any suggestions of a topic maybe you want me to to broach or to to, to talk about in regards to this series or in general um, I'm going to send those suggestions. Hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, let alone your Saturday. Hope it's a nice, sun, sunny, filled day. And above all else, as always, take care.